Hey guys, I've got a new tutorial today and this is going to be about um, sculpting or creating almost destroyed concrete within ZBrush. Now initially what I'm going to do is just import an asset that I've already made from 3ds Max and this is just going to be a really low polygon sort of concrete barrier. So if I pull this in and just put T on to go into edit mode I've got my um, object in the scene view. Now what you can do is sometimes when you press Control D to subdivide, obviously when you want to add um, actually more polish to the overall object, it will smooth it out and you don't always want it to smooth it out if it's going to be almost a hard surface object. So what you want it to do is go to geometry and you take off the the smart smoothing and now if you subdivide it and still look at the active points it will actually take it down and let you subdivide without smoothing it out. So for the sake of this, I'll just go to uh, 3.6 million um, points for this mesh, just whilst I show you this. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to initially go into the brush selection and choose clear tubes. Now, what you want to do is set it to Z sub, so we're actually going to subtract away from the mesh. And obviously, you can mess around with the intensity or brush size. But what we're going to do is just it really takes you to play around yourself to make this work as you intend to but what you can do is start chipping away at actual corners or pieces of the mesh um, of which you have so obviously if I increase the brush size and start chipping away at this corner we can almost build up the look of destroying the edges of it and taking that away obviously it takes a little bit of refinement a little bit of work to get it the way you want it to look but really this is just the basis of trying to make a more textured look to an object instead of it being so flat but a lot of um, the concrete would probably chip away at the edges before other areas and obviously you can add it in certain areas where it might be more prominent and you can build up on the areas which you've already got and add some damage and things to there but obviously it just would take a little bit of playing around what you can also do is download some or some brushes that people have provided so and I'll put the link in the description to the some of the ones I've found so you can already add a big crack or a chip in and you can add another crack maybe I'll add that across here and obviously you can try and blend that yourself with what you're what what you're actually trying to make so that's pretty much it and thanks very much for watching and if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers